Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to the final month of 2015, which means the year 2016 is right around the corner. And as I do every year, I'm going to hold a little voting poll for you guys to determine what my top 10 projects from this year are. I did this last year, I did it in 2013, even though in 2013 it was my own, uh, my own list. And in 2012 I also did it, but it was for Facebook. And I didn't actually make a video about that. But uh, regardless, I have done this every year. It's something I enjoy doing because it kind of lets me uh, reflect on what I think were the best projects from this past year. And then I can also get a gauge from you guys to see what projects you enjoyed from the past year. So uh, at the end of this video, uh, please go to the straw poll link in the video description to vote on what your favorite projects were from the year 2015. Now, a few stipulations. The project has to either start in 2015 from January to November or in December of 2014, which means this is going to let both Mario Kart Super Circuit and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door be acceptable for this list because they technically started in 2014, but I didn't put them on the list last year because those projects were just then starting and as a result you guys couldn't really uh you know get used to those projects you couldn't experience those projects in full so i'm not going to count those uh for last year's but i will count them for this year's so paper mario the thousand year door and mario kart super circuit will be eligible for this list even though i think a thousand year door actually started in november of last year but regardless it was a long game so um I think I could give it a little bit of a grace period on that front. And also, I'm not going to count any projects that started either a few days ago or projects that start in this, this month, which means Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones and Mario Kart Double Dash and whatever new project I start uh, in the next few days. Uh, those projects will not be el eligible for this list for pretty much the same reason. They just now started. I feel like you guys couldn't give a very accurate uh, vote for those games. And just from now on, I think uh, for the game of the year, uh, it'll basically, uh, the time period that will exist will be from uh, pretty much the December from the year prior in you know, January through November of the actual year. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing for these lists from now on. And uh, with that being said, let's go over and go over all of the candidates really quickly just to give you guys an idea of what projects will be uh, in the running for Game of the Year. And I'll also let you guys know what other projects won't be included as well because there are a few special cases that I probably need to make. But as I said before, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Metroid Zero Mission, Kirby's Avalanche, Diddy Kong Racing, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, Sonic 3D Blast, Pokemon Gold Version, Yoshi's Island DS, Mario Party 10, Mario's Game Gallery, Pieces, Super Mario 64 DS, Plants vs. Zombies, and The Walking Dead Season 2. Those are the projects that will be eligible for the Game of the Year position. So when you go to the straw poll, remember, vote for three games that were your three favorite projects from this past year. And, uh, you know, by voting for three, you'll also be able to pick more than just one. And then you'll honestly get to see, like, you know, what were some of the highest rated projects from this past year. Now, as for a few other projects that I've done over this year that will not be included... Uh, this will ma mainly include the uh, best of, worst of Mario Party. I don't really consider that a project. I kind of consider that a bit of a side project that I did. And, uh, you know, I know that was uh, probably some of my most amazing content from this year. But I don't really classify that as a project. More as just like a little experiment that I tried to do. So that will not be eligible I also won't be making any of my stream events or the games I played via stream. Those won't be eligible. And uh, any showcases, unboxing videos, those obviously won't be uh, acceptable either. Basically anything I just mentioned in that giant list a few minutes ago, those are the games that will be eligible and those will be the only games that will be eligible. So keep that in mind. 
So yeah, those are the, uh, that's basically it. So like I said, go to the video description, go to the straw poll link that I included, and vote for your favorite projects of 2015. Uh, try to keep it at three votes. If you can only pick one, just pick one. If you can only pick two, pick two. If you want to pick multiple or more than three, feel free to, but try not to. If there's like, if you for some reason can't narrow it down to three and there's like a lot of projects you just really love from last year, don't feel bad that you can vote for more, but just try to aim for three because we don't want this list to be skewed too much, I feel like. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So thank you guys for another amazing year. The results video will be posted on uh, December 31st, 2015, the last day of 2015. I got some other surprises for you guys in December as well. I'll probably have an update video in a few days kind of explaining what to expect. And I'll also try to refresh you guys on coming back here and checking out this uh, entire poll thing that I've been doing. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So this has been Slim Kirby. Have a very good last month of the year. Let's finish strong and let's uh, have a good month of December. Later, folks.